Hey guys, welcome back to CEBOX tutorial channel and this is our situation number 27 came from CE board exam May 2017 for structural engineering and construction. So before we start to solve this situation, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. A cantilever beam 300mm by 400mm and 3 meter long is designed with tension reinforcement on so superimposed dead load is 12 kN per meter. Live load at 3N is 20 kN. Concrete unit weight is 23.5 kN per meter cube. Concrete or compressive strength of concrete is 30 MPa. And the yield strength of steel is 415 MPa. Assume 70 mm concrete cover to the centroid of the tension reinforcement. Yeah. So ito yung ating cantilever beam. And meron tayong superimposed dead load na 12 kN per meter yan, distributed load siya tapos ito yung ating live load okay, na point load at point P then ito yung ating pin or yung cross section ng ating pin so take note ha itong nakalagay na 400mm na to is yung overall depth or height ng ating pin so ibig sabihin uh, iba pa to sa ating tinatawag na effective depth anyway, makukuha naman natin ang effective depth since meron tayo ditong given na concrete cover na 70 millimeters. Yan. So number one, calculate ng maximum factored moment, MU, na kung saan ang kanyang combination load is equivalent to 1.4 DL plus 1.7 LL. So as you can see here, yung combination load na to is base sa ano, uh, previous NCP. Kasi diba sa, ano, sa NCP 2015, this is 1.2 DL plus 1.6 LL. So anyway, ito kasi yung ano, uh, May 2017 pa kasi ito, diba? So ibig sabihin, uh, ang ginagamit dito na code is nasa ano, NCP 2001 to 2010. Okay? So for number 1, kung factor moment, ibig sabihin, uh, andito sa A. Ayan, andiyan kasi yung maximum moment, diba? Pero, Kung mapansin natin, yung ating 12 kN per meter is superimposed dead load. Ibig sabihin ng superimposed is additional. Additional load. Or, bukod pa, yan, bukod pa sa tinatawag natin na own weight ng ating pin. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo natin masolve yung overall dead load bago natin masolve yung maximum factored moment. So, WDL is equivalent to yung 12 kN per meter, then, i-add natin yung own weight niya. So, since meron tayong unit weight dito na 23.5 kN per meter cube, kailangan natin i-multiply ito ng area para maging kN per meter din. So, plus 23.5 multiplied by area ng ating ano, uh, beam. This is 0.3 by 0.4. So, ito yung ating WDL. 12 plus 23.5 multiplied by 0.3 by 0.4. So, 14.82 kilo newton per meter. Tapos, yung ating live load is point load lamang. 20 kilo newton. Ayan. So, masolve na natin yung ating MU. So, this is equivalent to 1.4 multiplied by yung moment ng ating distributed load. This is WDL multiplied by L. Okay? Ayan. Or, wait lang. This is WDL multiplied by L multiplied by L over 2. Then plus 1.7 multiplied by PL multiplied by L. PLL multiplied by L. One point four multiplied by WTL na fourteen point eight two multiplied by L na three meters. Then dalawa naman yung L so three is squared then over two. Plus 1.7 of PL na 20 multiplied by L na 3 meters. So 
1.95.366 kilo newton meter. Number two, what is the maximum factored shear BU? So, saan tayo makakuha dyan ng maximum ano, uh, shear? Dito rin sa A. So, BU is equivalent to 1.4 multiplied by WTL multiplied by L plus One point seven multiplied by PLL. So ito yung ating maximum factored shear. One point four multiplied by fourteen point eighty two multiplied by three plus one point seven multiplied by PLL. So ninety six point two four four kilo newton. Then number three, calculate the nominal bending strength, kilonewton meter of the section if the tension reinforcement consists of 425 millimeter diameter. So itong number three, talagang ano to, under sa reinforced concrete. So ngayon, uh, ilagyan natin yung ano, apat na 25 millimeter diameter. Yan. Siyempre dito siya, sa taas. Bakit? Kasi yung ating bending sa cantilever ay negative. So, kung negative pending yung ating ano, uh, beam, yung taas is subjected to tensile stresses, then yung baba is under sa compression. So, kung nasaan yung, ano, kung nasaan yung tension, fiber, doon natin nilalagay yung bakal. Yan. Tapos, yung concrete cover natin, dito, with respect to the centroid of the tension Reinforcement is 70 millimeters. Therefore, ang ating effective depth ay 400 minus 70, which is 330 millimeters. So, na rin natin yung AS natin, or area ng steel. This is pi over 4 multiplied by 25 squared multiplied by 4. So, 25 squared multiplied by 4 over 4. So, 6 to 5. So, ang ating AS is 6 to 5 pi millimeter squared. Yan. So, dito, bago natin masolve yung nominal moment natin, kailangan natin muna makuha yung uh, compression block okay, or location of compression block with the dimension of A diba alam naman natin sa reinforced concrete beam ang ating compressive force is equivalent to tensile force na kung saan ang ating compressive force is equivalent to 0.85 epremcy multiplied by A multiplied by B so this is applicable only for rectangular beam then, yung ating tensile is equivalent to AS multiplied by FS. So, dito, kailangan natin mag-assume kung ating FS or yung ating steel reinforcement is mag-yield or hindi. Pag nag-yield, ibig sabihin, yung ating FS is equivalent to FY or lumagpas siya sa FY. Kaya, ang kukunin natin na yield strength or strength ng steel is FY. Pero, kung less than naman yung ating steel, ibig sabihin, hindi mag-yield yung ating reinforcement. Uh, or tension reinforcement. Kaya, ang gagamit natin is FS. Anyway, for checking, ang ating FS is equivalent to 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. Ayan. Okay? So, syempre, assume na lang naman natin na yan or dit na lang. Ayan. Assume natin na yung ating mga bakal ay mag -yield. Assume still yields. Kaya yung ating FS is equivalent to FY. So ito ah, galing to sa, ano, sa equilibrium condition. Anyway, yung ating C is equivalent to 0.85 F'C multiplied by A multiplied by B. 
Ang B natin is 300. Is equivalent to AS multiplied by FY. So, masasabi natin ang A. Ang AS natin is 6255. Ang ating FY is, ilang natin FY natin? 415. Then, 0.85 multiplied by FYMC, which is 30, multiplied by 300. So, 106.516 millimeters. So, since ang ating F prime C is 30 megapascal, ibig sabihin yung ating beta is equivalent to 0.85. So, double check na lang. Ang ating kasing beta is equivalent to 0.85 minus 0.05 over 7 multiplied by F prime C minus 30 megapascal. So, since hindi naman tayo lumapas sa 30 megapascal, ayan, ang mangyari, yung ating beta is equivalent to 0.85. Kasi mag-zero lang naman ito, diba? Ayan, mag-zero lang ito ng buo. Ngayon, uh, meron rin man iba sa code na ito ay F prime C minus 28. Yun yata yung ano, um, 2010 pababa. Okay? So, sa 2015 nata, F prime C minus 30. So, pakidouble check na lang kung ano yung tama sa dalawa na yun. Kasi, Hindi ko talaga ano, ma-memorize memorize kung ano talaga yung equation ito kasi hindi ko laging uh, to be honest, hindi ko pa kasi talaga chine-check masyado yung NCP 2015 code under sa ano, reinforced concrete. Ayun, kaya hindi ko pa siya memorize. Anyway, so since ang ating ano, uh, beta is 0.85, therefore makukuha natin yung ating location ng neutral axis by distance C or dimension C. So this is C is equivalent to A over beta. So, divided by 0.85. So, 125.313 millimeters. Kaya, matacheck na rin natin yung FS kung siya ay nag-exceed sa FY or nag uh, less than sa FY. So, FS is equivalent to 600 multiplied by D na 330 minus C over C. 600 multiplied by D minus C, but yung A na lang, over A, where A is 125.313. So, 980.04 megapascal. So, nag-exit tayo sa FY. Kaya, yung ating bakal is nag-yield. Ayan. Kaya yung ating FS is equivalent to FY. Ibig sabihin rin ito, tama yung nakuha nating A, tama rin na yung nakuha natin na C. Meron rin namang ibang ano eh, pang check kung nag-yield ang bakal or hindi. By ano, uh, comparing raw balance sa raw actual natin. Ayan. So kung ating raw actual is less than sa ating raw balance, therefore, mag-yield yung ating bakal. Pero kung ating raw actual is nag greater than sa ating raw balance, therefore, still does not yield. Ayan. Okay? So, pwede naman sa kahit anong dalawa dyan. Para sa rin naman yung makukuha natin na answer and conclusion. Anyway, meron na tayong A. So, makukuha na natin yung ating nominal moment. So, nominal moment is equivalent to Pwede naman yung C or T. Bahala kayo kung anong gamitin nyo. So, siguro ako na lang. Ang gagamitin ko na lang is yung T. So, AS FY multiplied by D minus A over 2. So, AS 6255 multiplied by FY na 415 multiplied by D na 330 minus A na 106.5 516 over 2. Then, ang mga kuwang sagot natin dito is Newton millimeter. So, divide natin ng 1,000 squared para maging kilonewton meter. So, 225.503. 225.503 kilonewton meter. So, kung gusto niyo malaman kung paan natin nakuha yung equation na to, pwede rin naman siyang i-drawing dito, di ba? Um, siguro ilipat na natin ito dito. Yeah. 
Ang mangyayari kasi niyan, ito yung location ng ating neutral axis. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung ating distance C. Tapos, ito naman yung sa compression block. Ayan. And then, ito yung drawing natin para sa ano, um, stress diagram. Yeah. Ah, yes, ito yung distance A sa compression block natin. Ito ngayon yung ating compression force C. And then, ito naman yung ating tensile force T. Tapos, ito yung ating moment arm. Ayan. Na equivalent sa D na 330 then minus ito. Ayan. Itong ano na to. Uh, dimension na to which is kalahati ng A. Kasi ito yan o eh. Diba? Rectangular block. So kung rectangular block to ibig sabihin yung ating C ay nakalokit sa gitna ng A. So A over 2. Kaya ito yung ating D minus A over 2. Kaya yung ating moment, uh, nominal moment is ito. MN which is equivalent to T multiplied by D minus A over 2 or C multiplied by D minus A over 2 or this is also called as couple moment. Yan. Okay? Um, wala kami ma-re-recommend ano, ma sa inyo na ano namin, playlist ng reinforced concrete design kasi hindi pa talaga kami nakapag-prepare ng, ano, ng talagang a lesson or mga video tutorials na nag start sa introduction and concept tapos mga problem examples wala pa kami nagagawa ayan kaya wala pa kami may re recommend na playlist anyway uh, kung baka gawa man kami uh, i hope mapanood niyo rin siya uh, talaga ano i-discuss namin isa-isa kung paano tayo nag come up sa mga ganitong equation and kung paano tayo nag come up dito yan sa ano FS na yan and kung paano tayo or iba pang way para ma natin yung ano mga reinforced concrete design I mean, sa yung mga nominal bending moment, mga ganyan. Tapos, kung paano kumuha ng mga area. Ayan. So, abang ngayon na lamang yung playlist namin na yun. Kapag nakarang kami ng time. Okay? So, anyway, ito muna yung ating situation number 27 for C board exam May 2017 para sa reinforced concrete design under sa structural engineering and construction. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this uh, discussion, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.